right guys, we are taking Chi Chi for a nice little hike. Here's my daughter. Say hello. And yesterday we didn't go all the way to the cap, but we are gonna do it another day because we were worried we're gonna get we were gonna get some severe thunderstorms. And then it didn't rain until very late at night. So we could have probably have done it. But you know what? Uh, nothing to feel sorry about, nothing to feel bad about because if it's not today, it's tomorrow, right? JJ, stay. Good boy. Come here. Come here, Erica. He's wandering by himself, love. JJ, JJ you stay like a good boy for mommy, okay? We're trying to train the Cheech because Cheech is hard of hearing. And we've got a fire starting because when we get back, we're going to grill some burgers vegan burgers of course and it is already hot crazy hot I can't even tell you how crazy hot it is I have my I'm not sure if you can see it I have my JJ sack in case he needs it because when it gets hot he doesn't like to walk so much so We're gonna take him to the famous Petit Train de Nord, which used to be, I'm sure you heard me say this over and over again, it used to be the old railroad track. And we used to take the train up here sometimes. And now they turned it, it's been a couple of years now for sure. How many years, Erica? been a while right where they turned it into the uh, a bike path or a hiking path or a rollerblading path and uh, it is connected to the great Canadian trail Really beautiful around here. There's my love bug. He's ready for his walk. When it's hot like this, he might not be able to pull the whole walk because we're going to walk quite a bit to go and see for mushrooms. We found some chanterelles and some bolites yesterday when we were on our trail. This used to be my cousin's house, right next door to my father-in-law and my mother-in-law. It's crazy busy today because the vacationers are up. People are up for their vacation the last week of July, the 1st of August. It used to be the last two of July. But now they made it the last of July and the 1st of August. So people are on vacation because we are so close to Mont Tremblant and a lot of people go there. But you know what? They've been building some beautiful um, huts right close to where we are. And a lot of people, because we're so close to Mont Tremblant and the, that famous uh, trail, because you could get from one town to another just on that trail. So people use it for either hiking or they use it just to work out. What is it? Oh, Cabo Mio. Okay, I wanna show you guys. This is called pineapple weed, which is wild chamomile. So if you pick this, try not to rip it out. But if you cut it and you bring it home, you can steep it in some hot water or you can, well, you want me to pick it, Erica? There's a lot. We could do it on our way back if you want. Um, you can steep it and enjoy a delicious, very healing. Healing, healthy, warm drink very good for your body 
and we pick so much or my daughter picks so much that we end up uh, she dehydrated and we have it in a jar but there's lots and they usually grow along dirt paths or disturbed areas dry areas yeah that's another and that and you could actually eat um, the, the pod right after it blooms and it smells fantastic it smells almost like a lilac tree beautiful um, the milk on the leaves is uh, slightly toxic so try not to get the milk from the leaves on your skin lots of blueberries yeah but here's another milkweed but after it blooms it makes these pods and if you get them before they before they come to seed you could actually cook those pods and my daughter was telling me she saw someone who was making cheese with it some vegan cheese so i'm gonna see and maybe try something out for you guys i'm gonna see when it comes to pod what I can uh, do for you or show you how we use it but there you go this is the milkweed and these flowers I can't oh my god it smells like a lilac lavender I don't know what it no not lavender it smells more like a lilac lily of the valley it is just the most incredible smell ever I wish you could just like walk by these milkweeds especially when there's an abundance of them and the smell that it gives off is like crazy beautiful and uh for the people that just come to watch me cook i'm sorry guys i know some of you don't like to see my hiking trips um but this is stuff that i love to do i'm gonna share the wild edibles like the pineapple weed which is basically a wild chamomile flower to make chamomile tea uh, I'm gonna show you the milk thistle whatever I can show you I'm gonna do it and you know what guys it's free food these are wild peas you see that wild peas guys and they are edible Some more milkweed. So we're hoping to find some chanterelles today. And again, that's a wild edible. But I'm gonna show you what the chanterelles look like again. And it's free food, guys. By the way, this is Le Petit Trend and now here you go. And every so often, I'll show you. The green the green root uh, and every so often you get to see where you are on the map how close you are to the next town and what's nice about this place is they even have picnic tables they have outhouses in case you gotta go but very busy in the summer with bikes because people either camp on their bikes what they do is they load up their bikes and they uh, and they go from campsite to campsite and they just move along move along town to town so and some of them are doing the whole Canadian Trail which is crazy because it could take over three years to do that there's lots of lots of free edibles up here guys uh, these believe it or not are do I need to tell you what these are? But you know what? If you pick one and you eat it, it's loaded with calcium. Mm hmm. The water is low. Lots of milk, weed over there. The smell is amazing. Strawberries are pretty much done. Those are all strawberries. Look at beautiful. And it's hot like crazy today. I don't know if that was the best idea to go hiking today or yesterday. Yesterday was crazy hot. I can't even tell you how hot it was. And we did. We did quite a bit of it. 
We didn't make it to the cap, but we did quite a bit. We just wanted to make sure we got back home on time. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. That's the way oh, bikers are coming. Bikes are rollerblades. I can't even tell yet right now. Bike. Stay. Good boy, Chi Chi. Bonjour. So yeah, if there's not a lot of, you know, if you don't have water on your land, you're going to have to find something to entertain yourself. But just the peace and quiet and the smells up here is worth everything. So today we're going to look for bullets because they are starting to come up. Thank you. We haven't even seen an amanita yet. It's been so hot. The rain last night, my daughter said. I didn't even hear it. I was so tired after that hike. You ready, Cheech? More bikes. Lots of bikes up here. Yeah, you Lots of blueberries. Come, come, Chi Chi. I'll show you the blueberry plants. Look how big these ones are. Look at that, Erica. Look how many blueberries. These are going to be ready for when Amanda comes up with the girls. Delicious. Look how many there are already that have to ripen. It's a lot more than last year. Oh, yeah. Last year we had a very bad dry spell. Chi Chi, you want a blueberry? Mommy, I'll give you a blueberry. Sorry about that. Here, Chi Chi. Good boy. Come on. Here. Blueberry, Chi Chi. No? Okay, come on, Chi Chi. So, blueberries are coming up. They're still a little tart because they're not quite done, but those are all blueberry plants. All right, guys. I could just talk forever. But if I find anything, I will be sure to show you. Come on, Jade. Chichi. Come on, Chichi boy. Come on, my little adventurous dog. He's so little. Oh my god, he's so little. All right, guys. I'll show you when we get to the mushrooms. Here we go. Look what we have here. We have chanterelles. Beautiful chanterelles. Look at that. Beautiful. And, Erica, you want to hold the camera? All right, guys. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to have to put you down somehow. Okay, so I want to show you something. When you're picking a chanterelle, you do not want to just yank it out because you're going to disturb the mycelium. So you're going to cut it at the base. I wish my knife was a little better. And that's what the inside, the underside of a chanterelle looks like. It has no gills. Those are all ridges. And if you peel it back, it's almost like a cheesy, fibrous texture. And this is a mushroom you could actually eat raw. Oh my God. It smells like apricots. And that is the beautiful chanterelle. And we have lots to pick here. So I can hold the dog and my daughter could do this. Yeah. There's lots of it. But there you go, our first find, and we hardly, um, yeah, I'm going to show you, there's some more there, beautiful, and we just, we just walked a few minutes, we didn't even walk that far, see there's some there, I'm not sure if you can see it there, beautiful chanterelles, and these are so delicious, these go for about $60 a pound, guys. So if you find chanterelles, and if you don't know what chanterelles are, do some homework. Be careful because in the fall, uh, there's one that they call a look-alike. I don't think they look alike, but some people get confused, especially if they haven't picked mushrooms before. So they get confused, and those are poisonous. And those will also grow, uh, glow in the dark. They're called jack-o'-lanterns. That's not their real name. Look how beautiful. Uh, so, before you eat mushrooms, guys, make sure to do some homework. And these are blueberry bushes. Lucky us, eh? You got it? Yeah, it's hard to... Uh, beautiful. Should I hold Chi Chi? There's a young one there, but not worth picking it up yet. Let it grow. Chi-Chi, do you want mommy to hold you? So I'm going to put Chi-Chi in my sack for now. But 
we find another batch, I'll show you again, guys. Guys, do you spot the mushrooms? More chanterelles. Those beautiful golden tips. More chanterelles. We're going to bring home some chanterelles, Erica. And my chi-chi, as you can tell. Where's my chi-chi boy? Where's my chi-chi boy? Yeah, chi-chi doesn't want to walk today. I don't know. He's acting very funny. It started yesterday. He was outside. He was having a good time. Is that a mushroom on the floor? This is a bolete, an old one. An old bolete. Uh, there's some under the tree and some in the back, Erica. Um, it started yesterday, and then I think he got stung by a bee. And that did not make him happy. And ever, ever since he got stung, he didn't want to go out anymore. And same thing today. We kind of had to force him out. So I'm not sure if he's scared because of the bee or if it's just so humid and hot because uh, apparently we're having a heat dome. And it is very, very humid and very hot. There's a place where I walk into the woods and I usually find them. We'll see. Are you okay, Gigi? Good boy. You, take your pal you took your paw out? Oh, look. He's too That's big, probably... though. My God, look at the size of that, though, guys. Probably done. Let's see. Okay. This is a place where we usually walk in. And if you go further up, I'm sure, Erica, you're going to find some chanterelles. I see them from here. Yeah, there you go. Those beautiful golden heads. Lots of them, too. Oh, wow. Erica, you're going to be here for a while, babe. Look how many there are. I'm not sure if you can see it, guys. I'm going to... There they are. All those beautiful golden heads. Those are all chanterelles. Look. Be careful you don't fly down. I'd hel help you if I can, but with Chi Chi, look how big this one is. Over here. Not sure if you can see it. There it is. There's lots, Erica. Oh, I can't bend down. He's going to topple over. We don't want Chi Chi to fall. Hey, JJ. I'm going to stay here so you can see this big one, yeah? There's lots of chanterelles. I bet there's more up there, too. Usually we see a beautiful deer up there. He always comes out to visit. And what's good about mushroom picking is you have to be... Uh, like my daughter says, respectful of the land. You could pick quite a few of them, but, you know, leave some behind because uh, by leaving some of those mushrooms behind, it's just going to help the mycelium grow because they, uh, they don't, uh, sh chanterelles don't grow on trees, but they have an underground network. Oh, it's like... Pulling my hair. Is he okay? He's fine. I'm leaving yeah, I leave the little ones. There's some little ones over here too. That's quite a bit, eh? Yeah. You see, we have to leave some of the little ones because that's just gonna help the mushrooms. I mean, you know, when you see mushrooms, you get so excited that you just want to pick all of them. But it's nice to be able to leave some so they can keep doing its magic. And, you know, you have to be one with nature. Erica, oh no, those are little. Uh, you do really have to be one with nature, and you have to respect nature. And the way na nature gives to us, we should give back to nature. That means, you know, stay clean out there. Do not litter, you know. If you could plant some trees, plant some trees. Um, you want to take some... Uh, want to take some mushrooms make sure that you know you leave some mushrooms for the animals that eat them and and for it to continue making its magic that's for sure 
All right, guys, if we find more shank chops, we'll show you. And if we find any balloons, we'll do that too. Clovers, guys, pick those. How are you doing, Chi Chi? You want mommy to give you water? This is my cousin in law's pet. He's got a lot of land up here. I think he's got about 100, about 160 acres of land. Oh, more of that beautiful golden head. Nice Look at that. Too. Look how beautiful they are. Do you see them? Nature's gift to us. Beautiful. They smell so wonderful up here. Be careful, Erica, that you don't roll down. Always remember to cut chanterelles. Do not pull them out because if you do, you disturb the mycelium and they might not grow back next year. So not only are you doing damage to nature, but you're doing damage to yourself because you're not going to get to enjoy any. Beautiful. Watch when you go over to the side, Eric. It's good to have a young daughter who's able to do all the hard work for you, eh? All right, guys. Until the next batch. Dying. Mm -hmm. Eh? And there they are, guys. Oop. More chanterelles. I'm probably going to end up dying. My battery might be dying. Oh, I see some under the tree over here. So I'm going to say thank you for coming along with this journey of ours. We started off coming to do a hike up in the mountain. We did some of that. And then we came hiking and picking mushrooms. And you came along with that. And I really, truly appreciate it. I know most of you want to just see my my recipes maybe I'll do a very fast easy chantelle, chantelle recipe for you this week but uh, yeah go out enjoy nature and go see what nature has for you if my camera still gives me a chance to show you other things I will otherwise I'm gonna say bye now because I'm not sure if this camera is gonna last that long but love you and see you soon look how big those are Am I catching it? I can't see the sun is glaring. Look underneath the leaves, you see them? Underneath the... Uh, yeah, I see. Can you show the mushroom, Erica? I don't know if I'm seeing you, though. I can't see if I'm seeing you. I'm just guessing. And there they are. Whoa, beautiful. Look at that. Hey, Some nice mushrooms. For Sista, my cousin-in-law got stopped because he was using his four-wheeler on the path. And for the first time ever, we saw the patrol guy go by. And there are more mushrooms. Look how beautiful they are. Beautiful. Under there, look there. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.